Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary Reaver. This time I'm showing you the new ores added in the Technic Pack, but in more depth. So, first of all, there is Copper Ore, and it has two versions. There's this one added by Red Power, and there's this one added by Industrial Craft, and this is the one that you find naturally spawning but that is in the not enough items. This is found anywhere between 10 and 70 up from bedrock and you need a stone pickaxe to mine it. It drops it in ore form which can then be macerated or just smelted straight away into copper ingots. And nine copper ingots forms a copper block as with iron. Next is tin. This is found between 0 and 40 up from bedrock. Again you need stone and it drops it as an ore and again you can make a tin block. And this also has an alternate form which looks a lot like silver ore here. In silver ore you need stone again and can be macerated but there's no storage block for it and silver is found between 0 and 35 from bedrock. Onto the higher ups there is nickelite ore and this you need an iron pickaxe to mine and it drops 4 to 5 nickelite dust and these are used in red power for the more sophisticated machines. And then there is perhaps the most valuable single block that can be mined. This is tungsten ore added by Red Power and you need iron to mine it. It drops as an ore but cannot be macerated. It currently has no uses apart from having a very high EMC, that double of diamond. This is uranium ore added by Industrial Craft. You need iron to mine it and it drops unrefined uranium and nine refined uranium creates a uranium block which doesn't look much like a uranium block it just looks radioactive and uranium can be found anywhere from 0 to 64 these three are the gems and these are all equal in pretty much every regard they can all be found between 0 and 46 up from bedrock and for them all you need iron to mine it so that's a ruby, a sapphire and an emerald and they all have their storage blocks which is nine ruby sapphires or emeralds respectively and these are a middle step between iron and diamond they're as fast as diamond for shoveling digging, chopping, and they do as much damage as a diamond sword. However, they have less than a third of the durability of diamond. And finally, there are these. These are basalt and marble. And these are purely aesthetic at the moment. And basalt is found in volcanoes. It, it makes up the volcanoes. So you generally found quite a lot in one go. And this, you can both can be destroyed with a wooden pickaxe. And basalt drops uh, basalt cobblestone which can then be smelted back down into smooth basalt and then in the same way as stone bricks for smooth basalt 2 by 2 on a crafting grid will give you basalt bricks. And the alternative is marble and this is found underground and you can find entire caves of this. And again it's purely aesthetic and this is much easier to destroy and drops as smooth marble and then 2x2 two two can create marble brick. I noticed that in a lot of my earlier videos I skipped over a lot of important facts and details so I'm going to go back and do more in-depth videos on them. Thank you for watching if you have any requests, please send me a YouTube mail or comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Catch you later.